So I got a spicy Jamaican beef patty. I got jerk salmon. Gah! In the cut, man. Mr. Omar in the cut. Davy and Omar in the cut, man. I'm back with another video. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Mud bang, nigga. So look, I got uh, I got jerk food, man. Jerk shot mud bang. That's exactly what it's gonna be called. That's what it's gonna be called. Hold on. Get the bag open, shit. Show y'all what I got. So I got a spicy Jamaican beef patty. Shit won't come out. I got a, a roll. I got jerk. I got jerk salmon with uh it's called uh jerks. It's it's the salmon rasta pasta. That's what it's called. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just call it what they call it. Cause they got a better name than what I was about to call it. Feel me? So yeah, it's a mud bang. We're gonna get into it, man. How y'all niggas been? Hope y'all niggas been good, man. Me, I've been planning on doing this shit for two days straight. I ain't gonna lie, I miss doing mud bangs, talking to my niggas. This is my favorite type of videos. If y'all niggas ever wonder, you feel me? We're gonna start off by trying the food. We gotta set the vibe with the food. The main course first. You feel me? We're gonna ease into trying everything else. You feel me? Don't forget to say y'all bless. All right, amen. So look. Some real shit tell y'all niggas. In order you to move on in life, you gotta be able to move on from the type of friend group you are. I speak on this a lot lately, cause recently I had did the cutoff. The cutoff is in order to grow, you gotta let old habits and bad habits die quick. In order to do that, is you gotta suffocate the fish. Cut it off. Don't give it no attention. Don't give it no energy. Don't give it nothing. Feel me? This. Just enjoy your life. Because life is already hard enough. Why the fuck you want people around you that's gonna be liabilities? You need everybody around you to be an asset. Feel me? Not every single tiny person. But most of the people around you be an asset. You feel me? So y'all gotta rethink about that. I hope y'all been good. It's a lot of shit going on right now. Something off by the something off about the world right now. Uh, a lot of shit going downhill. So make sure y'all saving up a lot of money. Make sure y'all taking care of your family. Make sure y'all being there for yourselves. And make sure y'all y'all taking care of y'all all your physical and mental health. You feel me? Something coming. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to lie to you. But let's try this shit. I got a spicy one. This shit cracker. That shit definitely cracker. Y'all know how I feel about food. I really like. Who's that 10 out of 10? You only eat once in a while. You're not, you never supposed to eat 10 out of 10 foods every day. Let me tell you why. You're going to get tired of it. It's not going to be your 10 out of 10 no more. It's going to be more like your 7 out of 10. Feel me? So jerk shot is like a spot I eat once in a while. Spots I eat daily. Or I eat like more recent, more like, more regularly. It's like, uh, I get these bows from Smoothie King. It's a... Uh, 
I get their fruit bugs. Feel me? For smoothie game. Bitty bar. That's it. Everything else I eat occasionally. I really like Bitty Bop. They got the best veggie bowls to me. This shit is cracking. Let y'all niggas know. It's the perfect time to tell y'all about more content on the way. Hey, shit plan, nigga. I just, <laughs> I ain't going to. Baby, the niggas are sitting here expecting me to lie and shit. All right, what the fuck you want me to do? Like, lately, I've just been going with the flow. Nigga, I just been, feel me? I just been developing myself. Like so, like I've been on some self mastery shit. I haven't been letting shit get to me. I've just been pushing hard, pushing myself every day, even if it's something so small as just like reading a book, some little shit, nigga. It's like shit that niggas really don't care about. They be like, well. If I don't do this today, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Having that mindset is going to keep you forever where you're at because you're not planning on moving forward, if that makes sense. So I've been more on some shit like, uh, shit, how I put it? If I don't run right now, I can never make another YouTube video. You know, I'm on some shit like that. Like, I'm willing to actually hold myself back just to push myself forward because the mind is such a, the mind is such a, uh, it plays so much tricks on you. Niggas don't realize if you say some shit that you love more than yourself, not more than yourself, but you love just as much as you love yourself, like uh, YouTube, right? for example, right? So if I say, oh, if I don't do this, I can't do YouTube, I'm going to do that shit 10 times harder than I ever did it before in my life because I feel like that's just the push you need just for to keep keep the, keep the your keep your life balanced, you feel me? Because like everybody's balance is different. Some niggas' balance is mer uh, bare minimum. Uh, not do shit. Wake up, sit there and look at their phone all day, scroll through TikTok, play the video game all day, beat their dick, and then that's it. That's niggas' day. You feel me? But for me, for a nigga like me, nigga, I come home early as fuck in the morning from the job I work at. I wake up early. I work out. Do my daily chores and all of that and all the other shit. And now I'm slowly adding shit in my daily, my daily uh morning routine. That's going to help me to be the best, best version of me so y'all can get videos more frequently. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. So I'm saying basically, do shit that better yourself. Why is you doing shit that's going to hold you back? You feel me? I didn't understand what I'm saying at one point too. That's why you got to research. Research. Look up all this shit. Because nigga, you not going, bro. Believe me, bro. I know, I used to be the nigga just like you. That learning shit wasn't cool. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, who gives a fuck about reading a book? Who who cares about if I work out every day or not? Who, nigga, I used to be the nigga. I used to be that nigga. Who fucking eats healthy? You know what I'm saying? I used to be that nigga, bro. So I know how y'all niggas think Y'all can't play nobody that used to be like y'all. You feel me? And yeah, I said used to be like y'all because nigga, when you change your lifestyle, I'm be honest with you, you never want to go back. And I'm not, I don't give a fuck. You call me weird, you call me this nigga goofy, this nigga a clown, this nigga funny. But nigga, who feeling good? Who feeling good every day? Who look good every day? Who got the urge to keep pushing themselves every day? I'm the true winner. You're just a poser, bro. A poser can say anything to you. A poser can act like you. The reason why a poser wants you around because you feeding their ego. Like, well, I got this high value friend around me. You feeding that eagle. No, cut that poser off. Stop giving stop giving that nigga lifeline. Cut that nigga off and watch him watch that nigga die like a fucking fly. Psst. Dead. Nigga. Stop giving these bitch ass niggas life, bro. All these niggas is bots around you, bro. They might act like they can relate to you, but they can't. They don't know what's going on up here. You don't know what's going on up in theirs. 
They could be using you, nigga, manipulating you, but you're not realizing it. Because y'all been down, that been my homie, sis, duh, duh, duh. that don't matter, bro. Anybody could do it to your own mom could do it to you. Your own pops could do it to you. Your own sister, your own brother could do it to you, bro. It don't matter who the nigga is. They could do it to you if they really want to. You feel me? Stop giving people lifeline, bro. Only person you need to get lifeline is yourself, bro, because you waste the energy that's not necessary to be there, bro. And then once you realize, okay, my put my presence not welcome here, you know what most niggas do? They still trying to be cool with that nigga, they still trying to be friends with that nigga, but your presence is not it's not it's not welcome there no more. It's time for you to say bye bye, pack your bags and get the fuck out the door. That's exactly what I'm doing. If I find out, as soon as I find out, the little shit, it's, it's just a repeated cycle. Oh, we argue, we don't argue. Oh, we cool, we not cool. I'm done with you, bro. You're cut. It's nothing, it's nothing for us to talk about. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't care what you got going on. I hope you live a good life, nigga. And I'm being 100% honest. That lifeline shit is dead, bro. I'm not playing, bro. I'm at a point in my life. I'm making it, bro. With or without you. I don't give a fuck who it is. You feel me? That's why I'm at a point in my life, man. Eventually, you got to stop talking. You got to walk the walk. You feel me? Y'all, y'all gonna learn, man. A lot of y'all either older, a little older than me or a little younger than me. You gonna learn. Do a lot of research. You're not tripping, bro. You're not crazy. This world is changing. 100%. This jerk should be cracking. You live your best. Have a dearest life. You only can live for you, bro. And in the day. Stop trying to fit in and live for everybody else. You only can do what you can physically do. And what you got control of doing, take 100% control of it. Let me tell you why. Once you master the little shit around you, everything else is like a fucking... Walk in the park, bro. It literally is. Because you look, you gotta think about it. You master everything around you, bro. So everything else around you, it's gonna be a fucking walk in the park. You feel me? So I'm self-mastering myself, right? I'm mastering little shit I do every day. I'm mastering trying to wake up. Working out. Same rotation. What waking up, working out. It don't matter what the fuck you how you work out or when you work out. It just matters, do you do it daily? Right? So think about it. Do you do it daily? Do you eat healthy daily? Do you take care of yourself daily? Do you do the daily things you need to do? If not, you got a lot of work to do. Just like that, bro. Shit, shit like that is just simple, man. And I hope a lot of y'all just been trying to work on yourself. And toxic relationships, man. I don't know, it just popped in my head. Stay away from that shit, bro. That shit is not cool and it's not fun. Some shit could go down that could change your life forever. Either the nigga in jail or that or that chick in jail. You feel me? That shit not cool, bro. Toxic, toxicity, like over toxicity, it's like, it's not cool, bro. Arguing is regular. Stop, don't take that for mistaken. Like, as soon as y'all argue, y'all want to break up. It's not meant to be, bro. First argument, she want to break up with you. She never wanted to be with you. Or the same thing with the nigga. First argument, he want to break up with you. He never wanted to be with you. I'm being 100. Now I think about that shit. Everything not meant to be. But a lot of shit happened for a reason, bro. Don't never take that that breakup for um for granted. Don't never take that uh something bad happening to you for granted. Everything happened for a reason. God got your life planned out. But we the only motherfuckers y'all don't know what's gonna happen. The most shocking thing can happen next. The most amazing shit can happen to you next. Tell you one thing though. Whatever happens, you gotta stay ten toes, bro. You gotta stay what you want. You can't you can't go be depressed and start smoking weed again because some shit happened like this. Feel me, I understand this shit hurt. The motherfucker use that pain as leverage to work fucking ten times hard. Keep your mind distracted on working harder. Not the not this shit they promoting, nigga. No. Hell no. Stay focused, Bianchi.
Old King, Young King, Middle King, stay fucking focused. This is all part of their plan. They want you to be down and out. They want you to be, they want you to be fucking fat. They want you to be, they want you to be lazy. They want you sitting on that couch all day. They want you slaving at some dead end job. Don't do it, Young King. Stay focused, bro. No matter what happens, nigga, I'm gonna be straight. I just need to make sure y'all gonna be straight, bro. God more, God don't mind out the cut, man. I love y'all niggas. God! Out the cut. Mr. Omar out the cut, man. David and Omar out the cut, man. Hey. Life is life, man. You can't change it. But you can move forward. Right.